Introverts of Reddit. What is one good tray of yours that doesn't come out to the light and only shows when you're behind the screen? I'm not actually a dumbass. I just don't know how to act in public. That stupid thing I said, that was supposed to be a joke. I'm oblivious to something embarrassing I did? No. I'm panicking inside and trying to get everyone to move on. Supervisor at my new job complimented my work ethic the other day and my dumbass responded with gotta wonder if I only work this hard around you. Immediately I was like why did I say that? I always do this good of a job. When I am comfortable I can be quite witty and funny, but stage fright is massive. I can barely function around anyone new. I'm the same. It is a big misconception that introverts are boring people. My close friends agree that when I know the person I can be charming and humorous, not bland. I'm better at writing than speaking, which was really helpful in college since I always waited until the last couple of days to write my papers. Hey, that happens to me too. Much so, I turned out to be somewhat good writing short stories. When with people who I'm not comfortable with, I portray myself as calm, controlled and focused on what I'm doing. I do this as a way to distract myself from the situation. But when with people I am comfortable with, I'm loud, funny, I hope, and hyper f. Haha <laughs> I'm the exact same way. Everyone in high school knew me as the quiet guy that everyone got along with. But when I'm with friends alone I'm so loud and talkative. My observation skills. I work with design programs. So being really observant and detail oriented is a definite plus. But in normal everyday life, people just think I'm weird and quiet when I'm really just taking in a bunch of useless information. Same. Analysis and knowledge absorbing when I am sitting quiet in a room people start to chat more freely. Got some pretty nice intel from that. I am actually pretty good with words but you wouldn't know this unless you've texted me or read my writing. I'm a stumbling freaking mess IRL because it's very hard for me to gather my words. I'm still bad at talking to people though, over text. Yes, I need more than the standard a lot in time and conversations to gather my thoughts and come up with something to say. What makes it even worse is that I know I'm taking too long so I panic and my brain shuts down and I can't think of anything at all. I'm a good judge of character. I don't share my observations immediately but when I do most people are surprised about how accurate it is. I take my time before I trust people because I have to fervently assess people in various circumstances. This one is me. I need to figure out what someone is about before I'm going to open up to them. Conversely, if someone is initially a no, they will always be a no. I know a lot of random facts and stories because I spend most of my time researching things online out of boredom. Some of the most insane things have happened throughout time and most people know nothing about it. I share all the new things I learn with my friends and they really enjoy hearing everything. But I rarely share those things with people I'm not comfortable with because they never end up reacting how I want them to lol. I'm here to learn some cool things. The ability to read between the lines in what someone is saying. Easy for me online. In person you could hit me over the head with it and I'd still not see it. Oh my god this. Or when people throw insults at you wrapped in what seems like nice and you don't realize until you get home and have a chance to rerun the conversation. Ugh hate that. I don't have good trays. Also I'm still pretty shy on the internet because I'm terrified that someone I know will find my account. I have the same fear, although I make it harder for myself using nicknames I have used in the past and friends know about because I have no creativity whatsoever. I'm bad at interjecting. In a conversation with two other people I usually just let myself get ran over. I'll have a thought and try to voice it but the other guys gals keep talking. So I wait my turn, but by the time I can speak the conversation has moved on so I drop it and wait for another moment where I can add to the conversation, which almost never comes. At least on reddit I can reply to a comment even if there are other comments that shift the subject. Also it's been said a lot here but I also wanna throw my hat in the can't express emotions ring. I literally have no idea how to handle an upset sad angry person and often resort to dang that sucks which makes me come off as a dark nozzle. But in all honesty I do feel bad for the person but have no idea how to help them through their struggle. I actually talk a lot. I have this NPC energy. Like, 
If one of my close friends starts talking about a topic that I know something about, I have to literally stop myself. This doesn't happen a lot, but when it happens, it feel extremely good, like, I can be truly myself without any hesitation. When that happens to me I have to tell myself that I'm talking way too much and even when I try to stop myself I still struggle sometimes. Doesn't happen too much but it's amazing when it does. My vocal talents. The idea of being a voice actor is amazing to me. I want to entertain people and make them feel for characters in games or movies or shows. Behind closed doors I enjoy making characters and giving them a voice. In front of people I just stumble around and get embarrassed quickly and stop talking. Which is why I couldn't do regular acting haha. <laughs> yes officer, this is the man who stole my identity. That I'm actually smart. I stutter and fumble over my words in social settings but give a hot minute to collect and arrange my thoughts behind a screen. People have blatantly been surprised when they find out what I'm studying. I mostly seem like an butthole. Well almost always. It's more like I am kinda unfriendly most of the time. But whenever I'm not surrounded by people I know I smh become the nicest person. I wanted to reply with almost the exact same response. For some reason. I'm much nicer to people online than in the real world. I think this goes with most introverts. Not all. That we can be very creative people. I find that the alone time that refills my energy from a long day and just the general solitude gives me time to think about stories, ideas for drawing, etc. I'd consider myself an introvert, but I'm not creative at all. I spend way too much time thinking. My thoughts are inconsistent and I never accomplish anything. I wonder what would happen if I could actually focus that energy. Good sense of fashion. I wouldn't take anyone out to shop for some threads or window shop. But I could definitely put nice fits together and have great advice on colors, schemes, patterns and even making sure it flows with the settings. I need someone like you in my life. I have no sense of style. For some reason what I'm feeling never makes it to my face, so I sound a lot nicer and caring when I'm online. When I talk to PPL Iroh, their first impression of me is oh she hates me when I'm actually just admiring their pretty face. I do pretty good voices, like funny silly ones, you know but I would never be able to do them in front of someone I don't know super well. I read stories to my kids before bedtime and I love trying to use voices like how I imagine the characters. I would probably never be able to do this in other settings. My humor. I'm a silly mother but I come off as quiet and reserved around new people. But once I get to know you you'll behave in a giggle. I am pretty much not a judgmental person. I tend to not think less of anyone despite anything that they do. However when you meet me you might think the opposite because when I am in a group and do not know the people very well I am very quiet and stare too much which comes off very judgmental. My emotions. I can be described as an emotionless dude. You can get a laugh out of me here and there. But that's it. You can't tell how I feel based off of my looks body language. If you want to unlock that part of me I roll. We gotta be really freaking close or I gotta expose those emotions to you for a while over the phone before I feel comfortable expressing them to you I roll. Mine's really weird. If I'm with people I know very well I can be pretty witty and hold good conversation. But with people I don't know I get super tongue tied and nervous. That being said I'm very good at public speaking so I think it's very situation dependent. It's not that weird. Likely, you're not great at speaking up in situations where there's direct interaction and feedback on, and into, what you're saying, unless you know the person well enough to be able to be somewhat confident in how they respond. But public speaking generally doesn't involve continuous and structured back and forth. I come off as maybe short in conversation with a group of people and that sometimes can come off as IDK, mean or arrogant but behind a keyboard or even behind a microphone gaming, people can really get to know me better, I'm friendly as they come and have quite a lot of random tidbits about everything. I may not be knowledgeable about one thing, but I know a little bit about everything. Also, definitely more passionate behind screen, P's INFJ here. I generally am extremely reserved in real life, and I am less reserved when gaming, but I will rarely use a microphone for more than a few words, 
and generally just use text chat when communicating with others. I also know interesting pieces of information about nearly everything, and depending on the subject, I could go on for a very long time about some things. INTP My observation of human behavior and interaction. My partner thinks it's funny when I pick up on things that people do, say, wear, not critical of their clothing choice but combinations etc, and then she realizes once I've said about it. Not really behind the screen, but rarely ever shown to anyone. I may be quiet and oftentimes seem selfish because I keep to myself so much, but I am an extremely compassionate person. Story time. My friends and I were finishing up a night of bar crawling and waiting for our Uber in a 24 hour USPS office after bar close with another small group of strangers. Two of my friends start bickering between each other and as it's getting louder someone from the other group, who has been quiet up until now, tells them to stop fighting. That person then goes on to tell us all that it's a 21st and she wanted to party with her friend. But her friend ended up getting way more drunk and she needed to be the adult, which ruined her night. And she started sobbing halfway through her thought. After a moment of silence, I stood up and genuinely asked her are you okay? Do you want a hug? She nodded. So I gently embraced her. I could tell she was really upset. So I just held her, rubbed her back, and gently said let it out. It's okay. I don't judge, man. She was holding a lot in, but I could tell she needed someone who cared, and I was happy to oblige. Very soon after, my taxi arrived so I gave her some encouraging words and told her to stay strong. That was the first and last time I'd ever seen her, and I genuinely hope she's doing well. I'm actually funny AF, but only a few close friends family know that. Every time I'm, for example, hearing other people conversations, especially at my job, a ton of jokes and funny quotes pop up in my mind, but I will never say it out loud even knowing that they'll not find it creepy, because they know me. Kinda frustrating. Same with me, I'm so shy at work, if they knew how funny I actually was they would probably be a little shocked but anxiety is to ruin it for me now I don't even know how to start a conversation with someone anymore. That I care about people even if I don't know them. Okay so the thing is that I am a really good dude but I hide and bottle up my emotions from people I know, but on here it's easy to express that side cause none of you guys know me. I'm second in charge of 50 idiots online, and I love them, and being in charge of them makes me a bigger idiot. I'm seen as the voice of reason and the brotherly figure to all of them. Meanwhile when I'm at my retail job, I make myself cold and reserved. It's too exhausting dealing with real life people while I'm doing my job, and I'm expected to have a professional attitude. Thankfully I received a job offer from a family friend, so I'm hoping that I can enjoy a more quieter work life, and maybe relax around IRL people a bit more. I care a lot about EVERYONE and I try my best to help anyone who wants or needs it. Otherwise I'm a social wreck and hate being near new people and I hate myself so... Yeah, I might not express with words that I care about someone, but if I have the chance to do something nice for them I'll do it without thinking. Online, I can seem pretty optimistic and friendly, and maybe even a bit confident. I roll me is the complete opposite of that. I'm super shy when it comes to people I don't know well, so I just seem like a silent, stone-faced person who has no intention of socializing. I'm more comfortable contributing to conversations online. When I'm in a group conversation in person, I don't speak up much because I don't want to come off as attention seeking, so if I have something to say I'll usually speak kinda quietly to see if there's room to jump in. It probably does the opposite of what I intend because people end up talking over me and the conversation carries on as if I was silent. Since that's not an issue in online conversations, I'm far less reserved. I'm great at math. I never did schoolwork, unless I was at home. I baffled my teachers until 4th grade, and they started telling the other teachers at the end of the year. I could pretty much sit on my phone in class. My analysis. I analyze how people who spent years doing something work so I can catch all of their shortcuts and decipher how they learned. I can find efficiency and flow through little things and I've slowly taught myself how to be more productive, punctual and organized with this. I'm a traditional artist and graphic designer and it's mostly been a self-taught journey for me. 
I have an eidetic photographic memory, not really a quality on screen, but I can remember things nearly word for word, and given that I constantly look to learn more about things that interest me, it turns out because of my memory, I can seem very intelligent. My co-workers think I'm a know-it-all, but I just remember things I've read or heard incredibly well. Online, everyone assumes I googled whatever I'm talking about. Offline, everyone thinks I'm talking out of my butt, until they google what I said, and find out I'm right. It's a curse really. It's better to have a few seconds or more to formulate your thoughts before writing them. When speaking in a group in person, thinking of a good response immediately is difficult and by the time I know what to say, it's probably not as relevant to the conversation. Because I don't talk a lot I observe a lot and I often know a lot more than people think. So I often have a lot of stories. Well, I do this with everyone I know, but most frequently with my friends. I really like to help people with any emotional problem they might have. A friend of mine was really sad because this year was her second birthday party without her dad. Not really her dad if that butthole doesn't even take care of her. Now, my parents are married since my older sister was born. She's 8 years older than me, so I never had to deal with these kind of things. But I did all that I could to make her happy. One of my best traits, actually I think it's my only good trait, is that, doesn't matter about what you want to talk about, I will pay attention and listen to all you have to say, and if you need any help I will always be there for you. To sum up quite a few of these posts into one that also apply to me as well. 1. We are pretty observant, especially of other people. 2. We tend to be pretty knowledgeable because we spend a lot of time being bored and learning random stuff online. 3. To some people we are super quiet, and to others, ones we are comfortable around, we are as extroverted as can be. 4. We are generally funny people, we just have to actually be willing to talk. 5. Usually better communicators online or over text than in person talking, we get tongue tied easily. 6. We are generally creative and have very active imaginations. Another I have about myself that maybe others would agree on, is that at least for me, I have different layers of trust, ranging from this stranger probably won't kill me, to holy crap if this person were to leave my presence, I would die. Barely anyone makes it to that last stage, but if you do, you know that introvert has your back no matter what. I find it much easier to convey my thoughts and desires through writing than speaking to others in person. Working on it though. I strongly stand against online hate and cancelling people. This doesn't come up in everyday life but online I see hate wagons very often. I used to still have a relatively strong online following on Twitch and I hated the way that Reddit and YouTube comment would drag me down so much. It would be one bad comment out of 1000 good ones but the bad would always stick in my mind. It led to me just disappearing from my channel out of the blue. I still see notifications from discord where people are worried about me but I can't take the pressure anymore. Anyways to bring it back to the topic. It'll never upvote something that outwardly hates on someone for no good reason. Because I would hate to have it happen to me again because I've been through it and suffering from depression and anxiety now. I come up with funny comments for work situations, but I only say them in my head. Sadly, my co-workers will never know how witty I can be. I'll help you with literally anything you need help with if I don't know how to do it we can figure it out together. I know how it feels to be lost and abandoned and I wouldn't wish it on anyone else. Even if it's as small as not knowing how to do a math problem to as big as feeling with depression or feeling suicidal, I'm open to help you but sadly I'm not extroverted enough to let people know it. I'm bad with words when talking to people, but I'm an excellent writer and can express myself much better through writing. My imagination. If I'm in a public space or even with a small group of friends or my family, I will sit there, being quiet, and hiding my drawings. But it's as soon as I go on to places like Instagram or Amino, I will show off what I can create to the world. I can hold a conversation if it's music toy gaming but boy god I hate chatting about normal stuff like the weather and school. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video.
Bye for now.